We live in a carbon-constrained world. So any greenhouse gas emissions we produce, we spend from a limited budget. Our carbon budget works exactly the same as any other, except that the consequences of overspending are much more serious. To make matters worse, we don't even have a firm number for just how much carbon is actually in our budget. In fact, the most commonly used estimates are likely far too generous. Therefore, we cannot risk hitting even its upper limit, and the sooner we stop spending, the better, because of these dangerous unknowns and the fact that it will be pretty much impossible to quit carbon cold turkey. So what does this mean? First, it means there's a lot of energy trapped in oil, coal, and natural gas that we simply cannot afford to burn. According to some sources, this could mean as much as two-thirds of all known fossil fuel reserves are what economists call stranded assets. Burning more efficient fossil fuels like natural gas does not avoid us having to shift to alternatives, but it does give us a little bit more energy out of our budget, making this transition easier. Second, because oil is currently addressing so many of our daily needs, this has really big implications. It means a dramatic shift in our energy grid, our transportation infrastructure, our food systems, and well, really everything. We certainly have a monumental task ahead of us. But in the process of tackling these issues, we also have an amazing opportunity to reshape the world into a more equitable and healthy place to live for everyone.